Welcome to the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition. The big questions are being asked in Britain and worldwide today. Where we come from, why we're here. If you want to have a look down the microscope. We still don't know what it does to fish. Jump on and hit the button. Every exhibit designed for a range of people, range of intelligence, there's someone will be there explaining stuff at your level so you understand all of it and it's, it's excellent. I think one of the things that Rosetta's shown is we don't know that much about the comet reservoirs. Somehow a big amount of material is just suddenly thrown off the surface of the comet. It really helps to hear it from the people who've got first-hand experience of it. This exhibit, I think, is particularly exciting. It's looking to cure various different forms of cancer. What we're trying to do here is build artificial human cancer so that we can look at new treatments. This Planck satellite takes photographs of the universe as it was about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. So these are seeds that have been up into space. So Tim Peake had these on the International Space Station. So what do you have to do here? You try to get as many of these as possible, either into the reorbit or the deorbit. <laughs> Hit the seismometer when the energy passes, and then it uses those timings to triangulate and locate the earthquake. What I love about it is the interactivity, the explanations at the level that you're at. And that reaction between the ice and the lava produces this massive eruption. That was great, and I know nothing about volcanoes. What I'm going to ask you to do is weigh out 130 billion solar masses of dark matter. Relying on your tongue alone, you're restricted to the five basic tastes. If I said that one of them was sour and one of them was sweet, what would you say? What's going on here is a phenomenon called synesthesia. The reaction from the public has been initial trepidation followed by the science is awesome. We're really trying to inspire both the next generation of scientists and also to get members of the public involved with what we're doing. I think it's important that we go and see what kind of stuff is being created to see what kind of a future we're creating. 